Hey boys, welcome back to some more Young Guns season. It's gonna be round two of our of our new career mode with uh, with the young boys. We uh, we got a nice uh, a nice win in uh, in round one, taking on the Cowboys. Who we have the only player is uh, Fado from the from the Cows, I think. Um, Josh Hoffman playing for the Cowboys. I actually forgot he did sign for them. Dude, Hoffman was such a good player at the Broncos. It's uh, it's a shame he he couldn't stay there and and finish his career properly, honestly, because uh, I mean he was an international international player and he did a good job at the Eels and and uh, and whatnot. So, uh, so look at our team. The only the only change we we've shifted Satili Tupanua into the starting lineup. Elias Katai goes back to the bench. You know it's it's uh. Yeah, we'll, we'll fiddle around a little bit with the with the forward pack for sure, because yeah, a lot of these a lot of these guys can play big minutes, and uh, we got we got some serious talent there. But yeah, Josh Hoffman, I I like dude at the prime, he was so good. Um, but uh, yeah, he's, I think he's playing for the for the Cutters now in the in the Q Cup. But uh, he is, I'm pretty sure he's contracted to the Cowboys. Is uh, right here. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what happened with the the kick, Michael Morgan. Um, Puts it downfield and Lomax just, it wasn't a knock on. It's, it's, it's just hit him square in the chest and, uh, yeah, he didn't even attempt to catch it. I don't know what was doing there, but, uh, we'll, we'll take the, we'll take it. Um, yeah, good thing I guess he didn't, uh, didn't try to catch it because that would have been a shocker. His Payne Haas catches the ball there. I don't know what has happened. Tony Staggs tries to put the little kick back on the inside, but again, dude, the, Oh, the grubbers. I don't know why they're so hard to control, but also because I'm, uh, you know, the, I'm now playing on PC, I'm using this, like, uh, it's sort of, yeah, it's like an Xbox controller, but not a not a proper Xbox controller, so the, it's it's a decent controller, but the joysticks are not as smooth as the, the PS4, so um, trying to aim the aim the grubbers it was a little bit tricky, so yeah, a bit, bit annoying, but also the, the grubbers in general are just hard to they're hard to control. I don't. I still don't really understand how to how to how to do it. Is a great play of the scrum. Brian Toto puts in the the step to boot. <laughs> He's gonna burn them. I don't know if the step was necessary, but it was a nice little touch. It sort of it sort of put the the defense off a little bit. And I think it was only um, it looked like only big Jason Tamalolo, uh, getting across to make the tackle. And uh, yeah, Toto is gonna burn him for pace and not uh, not gonna be a chaser for the Cowboys. Able to. Able to round up the the absolute monster on the wing in, in Brian Toto. He's had a he's had a great start to the career, and uh, yeah, he's he's gonna be in for a uh, just a bag full of tries. He's on that left hand side. We love attacking left. It's just um, I don't know. I don't know if it's just for the game itself or if other people. Is a great kick downfield, and Tupa Nua is gonna absolutely belt Jalen Feeney. Jalen Feeney is at the Cowboys. I um I don't know is he is he contract to the Cowboys Feeney I know he used to be a Newcastle Knights player uh he, he had a few raps on him you know when he was there he never really I think he had a couple injuries but never really cracked it I don't know why Holmes is in the fullback I guess he's on the wing and they would have had Fado at uh, at the back that's why they've got Feeney there so you know bit a bit of a bit of an odd uh, little recruit or or change there is a a ball back on the inside dude i thought that was perfect but michael morgan is gonna is gonna be a little thief in the night there i thought this was a beautiful little play on the inside it looks so slick sam walker taking it to the line we straightened up and i thought it was a, it was a perler back on the inside here look at this dummy to the outside takes the shot back on the inside but morgan just read it like a book that was it, it was a nice little, <laughs> it was a nice little play in motion, and uh, and Morgan just uh, thwarted our efforts, but uh, still up by six. The Cowboys with a chance to put in an attacking kick, get a repeat set, what have you. As uh, Clifford goes back to to Morgan, he's doing he's doing all the all the kicking in this game. Obviously, unfortunately, in real life, Morgan is uh, is finished in the NRL, which yeah, it's, it's it's a huge shame, honestly. I mean, Morgan, I mean, yeah, the the. I mean, he just still had a great career regardless, so it's, you know, there's that to it, but man, if he didn't, he had so much, it felt like, I mean, he he was he was getting on, but he still had so many, yeah, he still had years left in his, his uh, 
well, not his body, but in his in his play for sure. I mean, I felt like he he got to his peak, and then it was pretty much he had a you know one or two seasons at his at his best, and then pretty much injuries stopped him uh, as soon as he he got to his his best. Like he was playing some incredible footy, and then yeah, just just couldn't string the games together, and uh, yeah, had to had to make the the tough decision to. To, to hang the boots up, but we'll we'll get to see him run around in the in the game for a little bit longer. Here is uh, another good charge there by by Brian. Tot oh, I mean, he's just uh, I mean, he's got to he's got to be the best the best ball carrier from the w from the wing for sure. Like, it, there's been some good ones. I mean, Nofaluma probably had that mantle for a long time. I would I would say, um, you know, some of the big Fijian boys. I mean, you know, Vunavalu back in the day, big Sammy. Um, Mike Acevo now, but I mean Brian Tyre. I mean I, I don't think I don't think there's been been someone tougher to handle. Maybe maybe Matt Utai at his at his best, but yeah, I mean he's just he's just so God, he's just so hard to handle. He's just all muscle. It's it's unbelievable. But uh, kick goes up here right on the stroke of half time. So we do a nice little bat dead there again. That man Tyre he's getting involved and uh, nice nice heads up play. I knew it was the last play of the half, so there's no point even trying to catch that one. Just knock it dead. No, uh, no harm, no fear. There is uh, come back for the second stanza. Only six apiece again. We can't quite, uh, you know, put them away here. Is a beautiful play there. Matt Byrne is on the field, and this time we have made the correct little uh, interchange with Byrne coming on as that a sort of second lock, second five eight, whatever you want to call it. Well, not second lock, but he's he's on as a running forward, second five eight type role. Harry Grant should be able to play the the full game, and uh, yeah, Burden is just going to be be a nice little uh, X factor to come on. We probably got a couple of guys we could put there. I mean, I'll definitely be giving Chanel Harris to Vita a, a shot as a big shot there. It's going to be sweeped up by John McLean, who's going to race downfield. But yeah, I mean, we got Harris to Vita. I, I'm definitely, I'll definitely switch him with uh, Matt Burden at, at times because you know he can come on and and play in the middle as well. He's, uh, you know, very strong defensively, and he's uh, he's a good young talent, Harris Savita. Um, you know, the Warriors, I mean, they, they've always had it. They've always had those young players coming through, and it's, uh, yeah, hopefully hopefully they, they can turn a couple of these guys into, you know, full-on stars, because it's, it, you know, they always have them, but it, it does seem to be the trend that they, they have one standout year, or they have a few games, and then they just never quite, they're never quite able to tr really string seasons back to back, you know, you look at a lot of the Warriors that have come out, I mean, Johnson's obviously the, the, the linchpin, but, you know, you got guys like Kevin Locke, you got, you know, Solomon Ikata, um, even Isaiah Papali'i, who is now doing great things at the Parramatta Eels, like, they, they've had, they've had so much talent come out, but never really, yeah, they haven't really been able to go on with it, as, uh, almost, almost a little ricochet, Tamalolo is going to save the day, and, uh, and once again, once again, we just can't, we can't get that knockout blow going. Is a uh, nice little ball. Spencer Lineu is on the field, stepping, stepping up a storm, and he's just gonna throw the ball. Oh my god! Just impatience, a little bit of frustration creeping in there. Just trying, trying to to capitalize on one of these half breaks, and yeah, just just no patience, no patience right there. So still ten minutes to go. Dylan Brown is gonna boot this one downfield. A good kick. It's oh just not quite gonna be a 40-20. Good kick regardless, but uh, yeah, not uh, not quite the uh, the perfect kick. And uh, we're just we're leaving the Cowboys a little crack open in the door here for them to to snatch a uh, a lead of support. It's gonna get ricocheted and uh, Jalen Feeney able to to take that one. So under 10 minutes, Matt Byrne takes it to the line. Elias Katoa through the gap. Oh, his ankle tapped. I was just about to pass it to Toe on the wing. He goes down the blind side. Sneaky little play. He's touching goal. Oh, he's almost, almost the magician. Tiptoeing down the sideline. Almost burning the winger there. I saw they were offside. They were a little bit uh, at sixes and sevens here. And uh, Brian Toe, how close does he get here? He just takes on him. I don't know what it is, Justin O'Neill maybe, SR Masters. But he takes him on, and uh, the foot, the foot must just, does it go out? <laughs> oh, man, have we been robbed of a, of a great try? Toe, 
he, he brushes the corner post, but that's obviously play on. I guess it's that, it's that plant right there, but I don't think he's heel. He, obviously, he runs on his toes, and, uh, I don't think the heel touches the, uh, touches the grass. It's right there, but, I mean, his heel's up, surely. That, that's, I mean, that's a tough one, tough one to call, but, I think we've been robbed. I think Tyo has been robbed of a of a second try, and it, it would have been a pearler. So that's that's a that's a real shame, dude. That's a real shame. Um, as unfortunately Jalen Feeney is going to dislocate his shoulder. So the Cowboys, with that uh, controversial call, uh, are back in this game. Three minutes to go. Their last play of the of the game. Basically, the kick goes up. It's batted down. Jason Tamalola, not the man you want to see, but Taniella, no, who was it? Harry Grant, I think, made the made the big stop on the big man. So it looks like we are going to get away with this victory. I think, honestly, we were the far better team. We just, um, yeah, a little bit unlucky with the top one and then just couldn't quite capitalize. But we, we've definitely, we, we got the, we got the, benchmark to to go on with some of these uh some of these games and that man we've been talking him up all game toto is going to get player of the match hopefully you guys are enjoying the series make sure to like and comment and i'll see you in the next one